President Trump is standing firm as European officials hope to strike a deal before his steel and aluminum tariffs go into effect at midnight tonight. Lawmakers here at home, they're also expressing some concerns about the tariffs and the possibility of a trade war. Everybody's worried about a trade war. But you know what my next guest says? We're already in one. We are in a trade war right now, and we're losing. Joining me right now is North Carolina Congressman Robert Pittenger. Congressman, welcome. You, I know, are a afternoon. member of the Congressional Steel Caucus as well. Um, we are in a trade war, aren't we? Uh, tell us, tell us why we're losing this as we speak. Yes, we're, we're in a trade war, and, and we're losing. Uh, all the fault is on our own plate. Uh, we've allowed countries to uh, be able to uh, exploit our system and our, our trade capacities. We have an enormous market in the United States, and the Chinese or the Europeans or whoever uh, want to have access to our markets. So all the president wants is something very simple. He wants fairness. And I think that the president can be trusted as a really good negotiator to get this job done. Yeah. I mean, look, fair trade, free trade, I mean, they should be one and the same, right? This whole, this whole notion that somehow we should embrace free trade, I, I don't have a problem with that. However, if the country that we're trading with is sitting there, you know, slapping tariffs on to everything that we try and sell over there and we don't do the same to them, it doesn't feel right. I mean, we wouldn't, we wouldn't run a business like that. No, whether it's the Chinese or the Europeans, uh, there's a 25% tariff on our uh, imports to China mm -hmm. relative to automobiles, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the VAT tax, 25% in Europe. Uh, this mm -hmm. isn't fair play. It seems rather duplicitous to me on the part of our trading partners to want to make sure that, uh, that they're protected on their uh, end, but we don't have the right to pursue a fair agreement. <laughs> Shame on them. I, it, it, I give real tribute to the president. Here, here's kind of a weird analogy, but it's like, you know, the bully that keeps picking on you in the playground and you're like, no, no, you know, I, I'm just going to, I'm going to just be okay with it. I'm not going to do anything because I'm against, you know, violence, so I'm not going to punch him back. Um, it, it seems to me that if a country is taking advantage of you, and they are, you should be willing to fight for yourself, for your own rights here. And there's an opportunity to do this. You know, everybody keeps worrying about trade war. Um, what is it that, that you would tell them, including Wall Street investors who are very, very nervous about this idea, what is it you can tell them, Congressman, that might make them feel a little bit better about it all? Well, the cost of uh, to a uh, United States car uh, with a tariff would go up about $150 for an average $35 or $1,000 car. This isn't a major uh, amount. You know, the Chinese, ever since they got most favored nation trading status back in the early 1990s, they got access to the WTO. Uh, they have uh, forced themselves into these agreements and, and manipulated uh, the process. And stolen uh, our technology. This is the first time they've ever been called on it by the president. <laughs> About time. About time. I have a suggestion. I would tell the Wall Street community that this actually, in the long run, is going to be better for American companies and better for industry. Absolutely. And you know why? Because if you get rid of all those tariffs, we can sell a whole lot more stuff. Congressman Duffy told me, you know, that he, he's got a Harley Davidson there in Wisconsin. He said they slap a 100% tariff on motorcycles in India. Well, what if we negotiate away those 100% tariffs in India? You're going to be selling more Harley Davidsons, right? I mean, so there's, there's two economic sides to this. And, and too often, I think people are very short-sighted. Believe me, China's not. They're playing for the long haul. Congressman, good to see you. Good luck on all this. Just let the president play out his hand. The man knows what he's doing. We ought to have confidence in him. Okay. Thank you very much.